What is up? Welcome to Weebs Guild. We're back doing the special Bleach one-shot for the 20th anniversary, which is just so fucking good. Of course, I'm joined by Jose and special guest Pythes, the lore master of Weebs Guild. I okay. just kind of bullshit around, let's be real. <laughs> okay, well, you, it works. It works. It's you perfect. You bullshit around and you're much smarter than us, so this is why we have you on board. So, and you remember key points. I have to complain immediately, okay, Pythes, and I want you to tell me why I'm wrong, okay? All right. They mention that a lot of very strong people died recently. That's a key point of this chapter. Yup, yeah. Nowhere is Sasakibe mentioned. <laughs> why they do him, why do they do him so dirty like that? They do our boy dirty every time, Sam. You know they can't handle a really good lightning user. Dude, what the fuck? Because no one cares but us, not even Kubo. <laughs> Dude, I was just like, they were naming the people, and they were like doing the power levels, like, yo, level 3, level 4. But I was like, Sasakibe was specifically mentioned to be captain level. No, no, so what we're going to get is they're going to be hell worse, and they're going to be down there, and then he's going to be like, yo, what up, boys? You guys thought I was a joke? So does this chapter basically open up, like, anybody from the past can now be in the next arc? Is this pretty much what that opened up? Yeah, probably as bad guys. Cool. Ooh. Cool. Okay, and I need a reminder. I need a reminder. Mm -hmm. Komamura, he's a dog? He is a dog yeah. that hangs out at the 7th Division barracks. Was, yep. And he was not in this chapter at all. Was he part of the animals that the new lieutenant was talking to? No, he hey. just kind of hangs around. Doesn't Tetsu really. Zaimon got a got a promotion. Yeah, okay, and Tetsu Zaimon, we don't even know anything <laughs> about him. How is he captain? Because he's cool. He's he likes just, drinking. He's just, yeah, he's just that token cool guy. I just like I I guess I was just so confused, and it was just like, where's love? Did we we see love? Yeah, uh, I don't, he was yeah, there. yeah. They briefly like showed okay. him. And I was also – so I had to go back and reread it a second time because I finished reading it, and then I was like just sitting here thinking about it. Just like, taking it all in. I had to go see if Biakia was in it. It was like he's such a key part of every other thing of Bleach, and he is doesn't have a speaking part in this at all and is just at the captain's like little get-together. That's weird. Even Isane gets a speaking part. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Biakia is so front and center. It's like the guy should have died in Thousand Year Blood War, and he didn't. And he got no no parts. Nope, not at all. I mean, we got Ikaku's uh, shop or uh, dojo. Yes, yes, and we get to see that he's training fucking Renji and Rukia's kid, which is so cool. I, I like that, yeah. And she has That's a little great. crush on Ichigo's kid. Yeah, which about fucking, okay, they better correct that shit. They better be getting together because <laughs> I, fucking Rukia should have ended up with Ichigo. I'm still salty about that. Oh, uh, really? You don't like seeing her hanging out with Renji? No, no. They make they, a cute couple. Come on. I, I agree with Pythes. I think they make a pretty cute couple. They, they make a cute couple, but he should have ended up with Ichigo. She should have ended up with Ichigo. Like, what? Like, so, yeah, sometimes, no. Sam, sometimes people can be just friends. No. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, like, okay, I have a question, though. Let me uh, rewind this all the way back to the end of the chapter. Kazooie? Is that how you say it? Does anybody know how to pronounce Ichigo's kid's name? Is that Kazooie? Kazooie, yeah. Where is he taking that soul? Did he just send him to hell? Like, what What was yes. that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like, he just found the portal and was just like, all right, let's go through here. Because even Cone was like, hell no. So he's so taking when the soul to hell. He doesn't know, I'm going to assume. It seems like he's going to get the kids in the – like, he's going to get them in a lot of trouble. Interesting. What if – oh, I kind of like that. What if he – because, you know, like, that's very parallel to Ichigo where he's, like, he's helping, like, these souls kind of pass on. And But what if he's accidentally, like, I don't know, he didn't know he's sending them to hell. It's like, here, let me help you. It's a really great time in there. And he sends them off to hell. I okay, mean, so I have the I have the chapter pulled up, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So he's doing this ritual to send the guy, and there's these weird eyeballs that show up. Mm. Are those – I thought those were the uh, Will-O-Wisp. Uh, no, these are specifically eyeballs, and you don't see them again until the end of the chapter when the skeleton doors that are the gates to hell, yeah. an eyeball appears in one of the sockets. And oh, you're right. Yeah. Xyloporo says the warden of hell is all seeing. Okay, and is so is Xyloporo a warden of hell? Is that what he's implying? No. Or is somebody else a warden of hell? And he's just like. It's someone else, so it, it looks like he's acting on behalf of them. Or just, uh, he's trying to just looks do, like, like his revenge, right? It looks like he showed up just because he, he could. Yeah. I okay. mean, he looks he pretty badass. So warden. And I, I'm going to need a refresher because I remember you talking about this before, but the Hellverse movie is not canon. Nothing about no. it is canon. It's and soft canon. 
it's so where my, my understanding was proven yeah. wrong yeah so it's my understanding canon. of it was that they gave like kubo gave his ideas of what he wanted it to be and then they were just like nah we're doing it our way <laughs> yes. okay okay so it, it, it some of it was based off of what would have been canon because I kind of read this, and I was like, I feel like this is Kubo going like, you know, the Thanos meme, like, fine, I'll do it myself. Like, fuck you guys. Because <laughs> hell, yeah, I... hell is definitely a blank spot for the series. Like, it's Oh, definitely... very much. It's still it's still uh, to be explored. I mean, even Xyloparo says, look, my hollow hole moved outside my body now. Which it's, I was which like, whoa, well, kind of cool. Oof, it's sick. Crazy. The hollow designs look bad. They look much more eerie. Like, I don't know. Yeah. They, 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 they look crazy. So do yeah, you think I they're going to be they more like from hell? Yeah. They did Some would hell? say. They, <laughs> they look, look like they're like from they hell. They are from hell. Okay, yeah, that's a perfect descriptor. Pythes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I, I well, also, I, it took me two reads to figure this out. Yumi Chika is the person that shows up at Ikashi's yeah. school, right? I that yeah. did not recognize him at all. And it was like, I read that, it was like, Chika. It was like, who the fuck I is I got Chika? that on the first go. Yumi Chika. Uh, I was like, no fucking way I know who that is. It looked like a chick. Okay, I saw. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, the cool hey, new, is he, new chick. Who, who's Kenpachi's new lieutenant then? Ikaku. Oh, it is Ikaku. Yeah. Okay. He just also has a martial arts dojo. You know. Okay. Hey, you gotta get a side hustle. Okay. Uh, was it multiple sources of income? Hey, when's the last time a captain died before Yama and all of this stuff? Like, when is that? It's been a while. It's oh, been oh, a while. Wait. Yeah. The guy that Kenpachi killed. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Kenpachi. So when was that in terms of years? Because so like I'm just trying to figure out because Renji is like, oh, I didn't know this was a thing before now, and they do it every 12 years. So like, so so Unahana is gonna be down there. Ukitake is gonna be down there. Genryu is gonna be down there. Um, our, our boy Sasuke is gonna be down there. I just realized the setup for this is kind of like a filler arc where they basically are just like, oh, we're gonna make an excuse to have all of these weird matchups now. Yeah. Wait. So do you think we'll get the oldest Spada back then? Sam Stark. Well, they didn't. They didn't. Okay, they didn't say anything about what happens to Espada. Okay, but Xyloparo. Well, Xyloparo's there. And I guess I'm a little confused because so, Jose and I we haven't read any of the novels. Pythes, you have. Yep. My understanding is Xyloparo. He's in SAFWY two. Is so like I I I guess I assumed he was alive somehow. It uh, it's it's a really big spoiler. Yes, but no. Okay. okay. Wait. So he. It's it it is Xyloporo, but it's not. Okay. It's another version. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Because sure. I got I was because I kind of picked that up from like obviously playing Bleach Brave Souls and stuff and seeing that he's part yeah. of SFWY. I've kind of picked that up, and that's why I was a little confused when he came out of hell. I was like, oh, okay, and I guess Kubo just has a hard arm for Xyloporo. We just we just love Xyloporo. It's weird. I never really cared about Xyloporo, but Me he either. comes back all the time. I mean, he's just, like, an interesting design. He's a scientist or something. Maybe easiest for him to play but with. It's like, there's a lot of other, like, I don't know. I feel like we have three scientists at this point. You know, we have yeah. the, the Mayuri. We have Urhar. Now we have Xyloparo being thrown into the mix. Like, we, we've been there, done that. And by the way, okay, is his name Akon? He actually yeah. did yeah. some shit. Oh, yeah. my God, he's a badass. I miss my I'm girl. I'm so happy. Now. It's like, why? He gets to come out and be cool. We still don't know what Tetsu's Aimon does. Uh, he's even cooler. How did we get fucking an Akon reveal of doing cool <laughs> shit and we don't get Tetsuzaimon? <laughs> what is case? Okay, so let, let me think. Let me think. I'm looking in the future here for uh, setting let up me, this. Let me clarify on the, the Sasakibe thing. Sure. They mentioned that soul ceremony thing is specifically only for captains. I would argue, though, Pythes, and you know I like to argue. I would argue uh, yeah, he does. that he was specifically mentioned by Yamamoto that he could have been captain at any point, and he chose not to because he was loyal. I but would, he was not a captain. But what? I, so you think that specifically the captain title decides that you get this this funeral? But what they do with his body That's then? He must said. he must have been still not able to like disappear into the earth or yeah, the Sarite and stuff. I guess I'm just going off of power levels of like the ranking system that they brought up, um, the Ray. I, I guess I'm just going like yeah. I would assume Sasakibe's Ray is the same as a captain, so that yeah, would be I thought it'd be in the upper three. So that's what would decide like, oh, his body can't go anywhere unless they just decided to throw his body off a goddamn cliff somewhere and just call it a day. <laughs> so I got I got two theories in my head. Okay. 
One is probably the real one, which is don't think about it too much. Okay. Because mm. they don't care what we no. do. The other is maybe that leaves the door open for him to maybe come back somehow. As a badass. Because he gets sent to hell. Mm. He's full, because we have two scientists around. What if? Oh. What if he's in the Valley of Screams? Okay. Oh my God. And, uh, That's he canon. He didn't make Valley it to Screams. the other. Yeah, yeah. And apparently, you can eat Vassal Lords. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Um, what else? Oh. I mean, so we get the new character. I don't know. He has the cool, uh, what is it? Hawk is kind of like what his thing does, which seems Oh, he like cool. speaks to like animals. Yeah, and he does, like, he can basically, it looks like the birds like ate the hollow, basically like just ate That the was cool. That was really they cool. They ate it like piranhas. Yeah. It, yeah. it was all bones that was left, I think. Um, that was kind of crazy. And then, uh, we also. There was the chick who did the. Yaya Hara Yuya. Yuya. Is I, I is that a relation to any other characters that just completely new? Both of these characters are just completely new, right? Yeah, they're new they to seem us. Seem new. Okay, okay, completely new. She was she her power is cool too. Where I assume it's some sort of a chomping thing as well with the motion she was doing with the hands. Mm -hmm. No, with I was noticing. She had uh, on her fingernails. She had uh, bear claws and bear teeth painted you're, on her fingernails. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. So if and, you, yeah, well, if you go to the panel where it's a close up of her going like this, you could see on see like it. what looks like her thumb, it looks like a bear claw. Mm, and I'd like to point out, considering that she is Lisa's uh lieutenant, makes total sense. She completely destroyed that hollow's penis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's like, I take two bites, you know. I love Lisa's new captain uh uniform. I mean Lisa's always looked fire though. I mean like they least they they do Lisa justice every time. Yep, yep. I just wish Nemu was alive. Um, uh, some other older. things. Izuru is just, just out wait. patrolling remote regions and stuff. Which thank God, get rid of him. Don't want to see him anymore. Hope that means he's not in the next arc that much. Get rid of him. Um. Yeah, right. Like Izuru came back. Uh, wasn't didn't he have a hole blown in him? Now, yeah. yeah. They explain that in the novels. Okay. Mm. Now I God am gonna damn it. say yeah, we're gonna have to read him. I am gonna say he did look pretty cool. In the he shadow. did. He did look cool. As much as I love hating on him and fucking Wabiske, I, he's he did such a cool. loner too. He's like, oh, I like being by myself. Roaming that's like around. some shit Josh would say. He'd be like, oh, well, he, Josh is a total. Like, I'd be like, dude, easy. that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I would just like shit on anybody <laughs> who showed up and said that. Just like, let's just go, go, uh, just go away. We don't need you, please. Oh, um, you're just sending reason, Josh away. Like, the hood really pulls his design together. Yes, right? it does look really cool. It he looks super looks sick. Way cool. Um, I don't know what the, so, I mean, we find out that there's a thing called Ray. I don't know if yeah. that's probably going to be a big thing, where it's the spiritual authority, which is just the measurement of the Reatsu in your body. Mm -hmm. Uh, the average division member has a grade of 20, Vice 5 and 4, and then we talked about that, Captain's Kiss grade 3, which would be Sasakibe, okay? Let's yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I think you're overestimating how strong Sasakibe was. Okay, are you, so you're calling Yamamoto a liar? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> He never that man never lied once in the whole series. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. He only made They're the best judgment sure. calls. He never made any mistakes. You captain's meetings during yep. terror. Yes. You, you see the level of communication he had? He was captain's meetings nonstop. Hey, but at least we'll find out why the hell butterflies are hell butterflies. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I know that those things were all over this chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kept showing up. And then he points it out, and you go, oh, shit, he's right. I'm like, damn, I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah, and it's like uh, they do end the chapter with Ichigo's kid and, like, following the hell butterflies. So I was like, hmm, interesting, interesting. That's when you see the eyes on the skeleton door. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's when it pops back up. I was like, oh, that's fucking sick. Okay, so I guess I, I need a little bit of a rundown. That's where it gets – we're getting it towards the end of the chapter, and that's where all the shit gets dumped. So basically at the end – they say the worlds are all out of balance, and that's why everything's all fucked again, which is just... Are you a, talking about the Aizen bit? A re, yeah, a reoccurring thing. So the worlds are fucked up, which is allowing people to get out of hell. And specifically, they mention that, like, Aizen and Yuwa are, like, a big part of why everything is fucked, along with the people dying. Well, they just say that Aizen disappears, and I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I would assume that means he's resealed. Oh, I get you. Do you, is, do, do you know Pythes? He didn't die, did he, in Thousand Year Blood War? He didn't die. No, he didn't. No, he's 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 back in the mook and he's just hanging out. So he's just willingly was like, "All right, I'm gonna sit down on my chair. I'm gonna do my thing." 
So what if I, I take... think they had some seals in place so they he oh, okay. couldn't get out. Okay, so let's say we have a scale, right? There's, I don't know, the three-way scale somehow, okay? I don't know mm -hmm. how, the, how the world's out of balance. And for some reason, hell is really heavy right now, so everything is all fucked, right? Because everybody just died and they have a lot of rain. It's like overflowing or yeah, something, right? Yeah, they have a lot of rain yeah. or whatever in hell. So why don't they just slowly unrelease stuff off of Aizen until they balance out back the worlds and then we're chilling? <laughs> yeah, let's do his you're wrist, his eye. You're imagining you could, if you, you could control Aizen like that. But I, don't I feel mean, like that. I, I. I I'm just trying to solve the problem here. You know, I'm trying to be a little bit of a critical thinker on, like, Central 46. Which, by the way, is Central 46 still a thing in this world? Or did they get rid of that? They're still here, but they have, they're, they have significantly less power. Thank okay, God. Good. Due, to some, Terrible. due to some novel stuff. Oh, thank you. So who mm -hmm. who has the power then now? Like, is it is it all, uh, like, the head captain? Is that who has the power now? Uh, it's still Central 46, but they are a lot more... Uh, are they more I lenient, guess say, I guess? A bit more lenient. There was some stuff that went down in a novel. And with uh, Shun Sui being head captain, he's kind of helped out with that. Okay. It, so is he more of a level-headed captain commander than he, than uh, Yama was? Oh, yeah. I mean, he, you, oh, you, I mean you it makes would, sense. You would, you would assume, yeah. yeah, that he's, he's chilling hard. And then the big reveal at the end, which I think I comes together at the front part. The front part of the dialogue, by the way, is Ugatake talking, right, about the fish? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, right? Well, oh, they're at least talking about his swords, right? I didn't put that together that it was about the fit that it was about Ukitake and his fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I assume, I right? I just wrote down what the fuck is up with that fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, or my original thought was he must have just watched the Avatar guys. Because I guess I like <laughs> looking back and like when I read it the second time is like it's talking about the the bigger fish dying and then he was happy, which I assume is like him dying and then being happy like that he's gonna grow bigger. I guess in hell. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I thought he was ref referencing his swords because one is supposed to be bigger than the other, right? I, uh, that's Shun Sui's sword. Oh, okay. Because because his I I assume that he's talking about like you know he had, there was two, he died right, and then he was like I was sad that the bigger one died, but then the little one was even better. Like it ended up becoming like really big and really awesome. So I assume he's talking about himself. Like it's like there's like a parallel. It's like yeah, I died, but in hell I'm cool as shit. I'm cool as shit though. <laughs> well, I mean we yep. see his sword just skewer him. That was cool. I was like holy fuck! I recognize that thing. I'm staring at it on my wall. It, I mean, it, that was just so cool. And it's like they bring back the hell doors. Like, this is just honestly, I was, you know, we talked about before how basically the last great thing that was left uncovered was like the Quincy War. You know, and it's like, it made sense yeah. that Thousand Year Blood War was the Quincy. But then you look back and like, you know, Josh liked to bring up all the times that he liked the OG bleach. Like when they were talking about that. And like a lot of the OG bleach had those hell doors in it. Yeah, so like, exactly. It, well, it, I mean, not a lot of it. It was just like the one episode with Shrieker. Yeah, with the with the fucking serial killer. Uh, yeah. And it's like, so it makes sense that they go back to hell. It's like, that's just kind of, you think of all Bleach, that's a huge unexplored area that they could just do whatever they want and Kubo could just run free. And well, what they was explain that? it in the novels, but oh. still not explored. Oh, okay. Well, what's the thing with uh, Ichigo's soul badge that appears too right after that um like he gets skewered and then he's just like uh, saying he's like oh you guys just killed in front of uh, Ukitake. It's uh, Ukitake gave him the badge. Oh, okay, so it's just a uh, like a symbolic thing almost. I think so. So I'm I'm looking at like the beginning of the chapter. Kazui is riding on that weird fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. What I the can, fuck? I I just assumed that was his power. And there's two of them. That I, I I don't know. I don't know what that what that was. So it, I would say it's either. Kazui, but there's no way that's him narrating. Do you think that's him? There's no way. It's got to be. Ukitake. There's no, no way. Absolutely not. No. And it's like Ukitake's thing is like the Pisces bullshit, you know? Oh, the you're, law yeah. of the twin fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now he's called. He's referred to as the divine vow, which which is that's dope. weird. Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool, but it's like I don't know. No, what no, he no like it's cool, but it was just like yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like, and I don't know what that means, man. It has something to do with the the Soul King, probably the right hand, oh. the left hand. So what if, Ukitake, what if he became like the uh, the warden? Oh, that'd be great. That'd be really cool. That'd be really, really, really A vow cool. to maybe keep the doors of hell closed, which is why he skewered Xyloparo. Oh, like like he's still a good guy? Like he's just the one protecting hell now, or like uh, overlooking it? Uh, instead of thinking of everyone in hell as bad, what if there's like 
a faction war going on, like there's a war in hell. That'd be oh, cool. yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So do you think he's going to retcon everything that was done in the Hellverse movie? Oh, I, I think he would love to retcon it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he even thought twice about that. He's probably like, yeah, fuck that shit. It's like, it's a movie. Like, I'm going to do whatever I want. Finally, they're learning. Um... He retconned the events of Diamond Dust Rebellion before the movie came out. Did what he you, really? What do you mean? What do you mean? In, in in one of the manga chapters, it shows how uh, Hitsugaya got his Zanpakuto, which is completely different from the movie. And he writes in like the afterword of the chapter, yeah, this is how it actually happened. The movie's just like its own thing. Oh. Wait, so how did he get here in Maru? Uh, it just showed up to him. In his okay, sleep. right, and it and it asked him if he was worthy, right? I think so. And yeah. the, Matsumoto says you got to become a soul reaper. You're gonna freeze your grandma to death. Yeah, I do remember that actually. So I, I have a I have a question about the chapter that I, I just didn't recognize the character, and I'm hoping you guys feel me. Who is the lieutenant yeah. that gets stabbed? Who is the one that gets glass? Oh, that's Okitaki's old guy. Oh, old that's, lieutenant. The, that's um, Kione. Yeah, Kione. So that's, that's Hisane's sister. Got it. Got it. Okay, I, I like I saw I was like, who's that unlucky fucker that instantly got blasted? Like what the hell? <laughs> it's like they just get no love. All the other lieutenants really fucking cool. They get fucked. Uh, Renji still got no love. He got oh. tossed right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he got fucked up by Xyloparo. He had to get saved by yeah. Yeah. Ichigo. Which he had by to save his kid. Which, by the way, yeah, I'm that, glad that true. they did the uh, the classic where, like, Xyloparo knows Ichigo, but Ichigo's like, I don't know who you are. Like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah I like that. That was so funny. Yeah. Because it's like they really never met. It's like they yep. Ichigo just ran right past him. It was like, okay, cool. So do you think we'd see uh, oldest spotter there? Like, Baragon, maybe? I mean, I anything... don't know if Baragon was worthy of hell. Oh, is there some sort of Wait. requirement to go to hell? Like, like for... Uh, like So, I... as far as I know, to go to hell, if you're a hollow, is you had to have committed evil deeds when you were still a human. And mm. Xyloparo definitely did that, which is why Shrieker went, because he was a serial killer. Okay, well, from... But so, like... so, if we judge off of the Hellverse movie, Auden Yeto should be there, right? If, if, if right. we're... Because he was also I, there in the movie. Obviously, the movie we're talking, they're probably going to throw it out. But I'm just yeah. saying he was there in the movie. They did write that as a manga chapter. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so I, I Maybe do that part's canon. I do think we could see that. But I, I, I do think most of the other Spada would probably not be there then. Damn it. So like, we won't get to see Okiora. Okiora specifically like, like was born out of the void. So he was okay, never yeah. a human. And I believe Baragon and Stark were fully formed as Vastu Lorde. Oh, I so think you're right. Yeah. So they wouldn't, they wouldn't have been humans. So they can't. So they either like got reincarnated, like went back into the, the ether into the cycle, or they just went back to nothing. Ooh. Interesting. Big rib, Sam. So, so what is this like? So what does this open up? I guess like what is the story from here? They basically. They oh, find yeah, let's, out, hear, let's hear some theories. They, they, they find out that, you know, basically they're sending all of their captains down to hell. And then what do you do with that information? Are they like, oh, we should go save them, question mark? Like, what, what are they going to do with that info? I feel like they're not going to they're not going to make the first move. Something else is going to happen from hell that will cause a problem. Well, I feel like this is already worth, like, investigating. So my Yuri would be, uh, like, like heading, uh, heading this investigation, right? Or like him and Kisuke. Just a style. I'm just gonna assume Kisuke already knows about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, what? What? I mean, what if part of this is like what Aizen knew already? Do we? Do we ever find out what caused Aizen to go bad? You know, he says like he saw the Soul King thing. Is like what the main part of it? I mean, what if part of it is he? He found out that he people were being sent to hell. You know. That wouldn't cause him to go crazy. Well, I'm saying it could be part of the reason why he wanted to redo the whole world, right? Because that was his thing. He was like, yeah, this this sort of system we have right now is stupid. Uh, the, I'm, I'm trying to dance around book spoilers. You could just but, say uh, it. You could just say him at this point. Uh, in the beginning, all of the worlds were one. Mm -hmm. That being like, uh, Wake Amundo, the world of the living, Soul Society, and Hell were just one thing. And then they got split up. So I'm thinking maybe the... Uh, the inhabitants of hell want to stop that form everything into one again so interesting was hell more of a like a, a giant prison than at that point it was like yeah, it's described as like like a giant uh, screaming maw 
that everything was above. I'm okay. trying to picture it. Okay, okay, okay. You can, you can actually just, like look it up. They have the people have drawn uh, what they think it looks like. So you're you're thinking that probably going forward it's gonna be like the inhabitants of hell now want to be one with all the other ones again. Like they basically want to reform what was originally it. That's just a theory. I think that's kind of a dumb idea. Okay, what is what is the Soul King doing dur during all of this? Like the Soul King is just chilling. He's just chilling. <laughs> of course. And what is the Soul King's like? I don't know. I guess purpose. What? Like the it, role he, now. Like yeah. What is his what is his deal? He's he's like the linchpin that holds everything in place. Mm. So like, I guess I'm just confused what that means. If he's like the linchpin that holds everything in place, you would think everything being fucked, the Soul King would do something about that? Question mark. The Soul, the Soul King does nothing. Okay, so he's literally so just like a basically they're, they're like a watcher man. almost, like a literal linchpin that does nothing and it's just sitting there holding. Actually, him. yes. Do you remember in the Blood War when the when the Soul King gets murdered and there's mm. huge earthquakes and shit starts to go weird? Yes. Yeah. Because the worlds were starting to like, I think they were either being destroyed or being merged together, and then they stopped that. Okay, so are they gonna go kill Soul King again? Is it gonna be round three attempt of trying to get rid of the Soul King? I don't think so. I think Hell just wants to probably get big revenge. Okay, I, I respect the revenge. Yeah, that makes, you know? that makes sense, yeah. Sometimes you gotta do that. And a, a question again where my memory just falls. Is Squad Zero dead? Question mark? No. No, so, there's there's still a thing. So all of Squad Zero is still alive. Like, we still have the same exact Squad Zero from Thousand Blood War. As long as the Soul King's alive, Squad Zero is fine. They explicitly are back to life, like, minutes after the end of a uh, Yuha. So they can die and then immediately just come back, because they are they are they have the Oaken. They are part of the Soul King. As long as I think it was a uh, Ichi Bay says, as long as someone's there to to call their name, they'll just be they'll come back, no problem. Oh, I had, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. that's pretty broken. Not a, that's not a spoiler, by the way. That's like the first chapter of Can't Fear Your Own World. Okay, okay. I was okay. just wondering because. Obviously, they're going to make some sort of appearance, and hopefully they get to do something in this arc where I feel like most of them got kind of styled on in Thousand Year Blood War. They so did. Would, they were really disappointing. Would you recommend that we read uh, all the novels before, you know, Bleach comes back? I'd recommend you read all the novels in, uh, like, chronological order. Mm -hmm. Which would be, uh, are, are we talking about uh, Spirits Are Forever With You first, and then Yeah, Can't well, Spirits Are Forever With You hasn't... Except for Can't Fear Your Own World, none of the novels have been released in English. Mm -hmm. So you'll you'll have to wiki dive to read them. Most of them are just on the Bleach wiki. Okay, I got you. That's but uh, so like, before you start Fulbring, you start uh, if you read Spirits Are Forever With You, and then you read I believe it's Death Save the Strawberry, which mm -hmm. is explaining how Ichigo gets his powers back at the end of Fulbring. Mm. Okay, wait, I have a question, actually. Yeah. How does having a baby work in Soul Reapers? Oh, I yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I was thinking, I saw, like, Ichigo's kid. I was like, cool, yeah, it makes sense. And then I was like, how does Rukia, like, you can, souls just create new life? Doesn't that fuck up the whole reincarnation cycle? Like, where does that come from? Uh, so, uh, I mean, they function like normal people. You know, they have to eat and go to the bathroom and sleep. So I'm yeah. assuming it works like normal. The thing I'm confused about is the aging yeah right it's like because they left like yamamoto was over like two thousand years old and he was still like just an old dude but he was ripped as fuck yeah and like each ichi ichika's there and she's like i don't know 10 or 11 or so yeah and she's like she looks like she's 10 or 11 shouldn't she still be like an infant based yeah, on right? how the aging it's, works hits guy is still pretty much the same size right like he looked the same he still looks like he's 14. Yeah. Matsumoto just got a haircut, I think. Maybe yeah. it's some sort of super, like, once you hit, I don't know, teens. Sam, it's like Twilight. It's like Twilight. You just get, <laughs> you just grow super fast. Once you hit teens, that's when it slows down dramatically, okay? So, like, the, the 13 is when it goes, vroom, and just goes way down, you know? Because I have thought about that since Bleach ended. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. I mean, this one, there's at least, we know there's at least a 12 year gap. So, yeah. I mean, it, and she looks like she could be 11. I don't know. 
It looks like she's almost older than Ichigo's kid. Well, she is. She was born first. Okay. Because uh, Rukia, Rukia and Renji's wedding was like, is another one of the novels. And that takes place before the end of the, like, the final chapter. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, because the final chapter, it fast forwards in time, remember? So. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I, I totally forgot about yeah. that one. Final chapter is 10 years in the future, and this is set two years after that. The new ah, chapter is. gotcha. Yeah, I mean, Ichigo's just having Orihime do the laundry, probably make sandwiches and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Orihime seems like she's down to just be a normal housewife. Well, I love her. Yeah, it's always nice to have literal God itself hanging out in your house. You know, it's, it's yeah. really good. So, does Ichigo still have that house and he lives with his sisters, right? Like, that's the thing. Yeah, Kazui's in Ichigo's old room. Yeah, and then, so, what happened to Ishin? I'm guessing he and the sisters just moved out somewhere. Oh, okay. So I thought his sisters were living with him too. No, they just showed up to go watch Chad cheat in boxing. Yeah. Fucking buff dude. <laughs> okay. Like, we'll sh- we'll Chad see. might have taken a bunch of L's in the series, but he's strong enough to like destroy skyscrapers. He should not be a pro boxer. That's not fair. Oh, I know. <laughs> he's, he's the world's best boxer. I mean, if you're good at what you're doing, I mean, why not? Why not? Never do it for free. True. <laughs> there you go. Uh, fuck. Did we miss anything else? Anything else you guys want to talk about? Uh, yeah, I got I some stuff. Uh, All right. That new lieutenant for Squad Seven, because he can't talk, I noticed to summon his Zanpak toe, he had to write the name on it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, didn't I was wondering what together. he was doing. I-, I thought that was part of his ability. I was just like, okay, cool. Is it really just called Taka? Yeah, I guess. And what, imagine if they gave him a really long name for Islamic Toe and he had to write... Oh, yeah, hold like, on. <laughs> yeah. Son of imagine a bitch. If, imagine if to use his Bankai, he had to like write down a poem like uh, Shun Sui yes. has to do. Has oh, to... yeah. I see. Oof. I didn't even... I, I, I saw him write stuff and I almost thought he was like Sai from Naruto. Where he was just like drawing oh, where he was gonna, like, draw summoning see, it. I, that was my first thought too. But that makes sense. I did not put that together. Okay. Let's see. I noticed that uh, the portal Xyloparo came out, and the one Kazui uh, t- took the the dude to. The portals both had teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that so I, I mean, the fact that they're both similar means that that is definitely he's taking him to hell. He's taking him to hell. Yep. Yep. Not only that, but I I think uh, it's just a, a way to differentiate it from other portals in the series. Okay. Garganta okay. looks different from the Senkaimon. Mm-hmm. And now hell portals have teeth. You think it feels really nasty if you were to, like, touch the teeth on the portal? I feel, Probably. It might feel like bone. I don't know. <laughs> just, it would seem a little weird to just touch teeth as you're, like, walking in something. Like, I don't know. That kind of grosses me out. Uh, I like the fact that they have TVs in Soul Society now. I think that's hilarious. Oh, I love the part with uh, Rukia being like, oh, my God, I can see Ichigo on my new, like, uh, device. What you call it? Uh, the new phone. Yeah, her new phone. Soul and she's pager. like, oh. She's like, you can't even see Orihime. Where is she? She's at home. Yep. And then uh, our boy, uh, he's he's got a ramen shop. He's got a ramen oh, shop with no customers. <laughs> hey, go. Yeah, no customers. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. He can't ever get a W, man. Uh, that poor guy. Do we guy. see Tot- Totsuki at all? No. She's too good for this chapter. Ah. Uh, if she does not get some sort of fucking justice in this new arc, I swear. She's with um, Don Kanoji. Please, no. Please, no. I wish. <laughs> no. Don't do my girl like that, please. All right, Sam. You love Rukia, yes? Mm-hmm. Do you like her with that side ponytail? Okay, the side ponytail looks good. I'm not going to lie to side ponytail, but I like the short hair. That was in your Blood War Rukia. Like, that's, that's oh, probably... Oh, I like that, the, the like, very bob trim. Yeah, the, the, that's the tippy top when it's really short. Like, that's yeah. that's primo. True, I... I've always been, like, a short hair kind of guy, but, like, long hair mommy Rukia with the side tail... Not bad. Yeah, yeah. It's not I, bad, I but it's not the best, okay? It's not what I wanted, but I it's a good new design. It's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh-huh. And then uh, uh, Ren- their kid, Renji's kid, she has uh, Renji's hair, right? Like a red? Yeah. Mm. He's even got the ponytail that he used to have. Yeah. What's Renji rocking right now? He's ro- he's rocking like a braid, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like Dude, a, there's so like much. A... I'm looking. Is there... I'm looking at Xyloparo's design. Is there any significance to the 
fact that his left hand is a skeleton hand? Or is it just for Probably. Cool I think it's for cool show. Because they did, they did mention, I'm like, oh, are you still dead or something? And let's see, the Hollow showed up out of nowhere, and they couldn't sense him because they didn't have any Rayatsu. What does that mean? That's true. Oh, maybe That's maybe true. creatures from hell don't have any Rayatsu. Which was crazy, because that was a group of, like, all 13 hi, hi, lieutenants yeah. and Ichigo, and they got they got, they got got bushwhacked. OP as Ichigo. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, it's a great point, because, like, I, I thought when I first saw it, and only when Renji's kid could see him, I was like, oh, does she have, like, a special ability that only she Nah, could she see? was just facing the right but direction. Yeah, she was just literally <laughs> facing the right direction. It was like, okay, cool, got it. Love that. She could. She could have just been facing the right direction, but I'd like to point out, when she got there and she was looking, there was a hell butterfly next to her. Oh, maybe you can only see hell creatures with the hell butterflies near you. It, it seems to really, really want to draw attention to the hell butterfly. Oh, interesting. Well, I mean, the Xylopar does say, like, oh, you ever wonder why hell butterfly has hell in it? Uh -huh. It's like, oh, okay. I thought it was just a cool name. <laughs> yeah. It is a cool name. <laughs> Xylopar is coming up to Jose. Jose, haven't you ever thought of that? That just sounded cool. I just, I don't know. I just, didn't think about yeah. it. Like, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. See, I, le again. I like what? the idea that TVs and cell phones are being introduced into Soul Society exclusively as Urahara dunking on Mayuri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the hologram is Mayuri's response. It's like, yeah, I just need a fucking hologram. Fuck it. Because he's really salty about it. <laughs> yeah. So when does uh, Can't Fear Your Own World take place uh, according to this chapter? Uh, according, uh, Can't Fear Your Own World takes place first, literally right after Yuha is defeated, mm -hmm. and then six months after. Okay. Do they say what happens to you, uh? Do oh, they... right, because they talk about his la the last bit of his Ryatsu just disappearing, right? Yeah, and that's really weird. So, I don't know. Uh, do you want do you want the Can't Fear Your Own World spoiler? Sure. Yep. They, they, turn, they turn him into the new Soul King. Uh... You are? Yeah. Oh, what? They, they repurpose his corpse, and they turn it into the Soul King. Uh -huh. And it apparently it is so weird and grotesque that a Halle Bell looks at it and goes, that's so fucked up, I kind of get why Aizen rebelled. Yeah. <laughs> so so is Halle Bell just like, she's allowed in Soul Society? Like she's just cool? No, they were they were in, uh, they, this is like right after Yuha was defeated, so they like rescued her from the Quincy's and she, they're just chilling. Oh, they're okay. They're about to go back to Wakamundo, Grimgel's there. That's my boy. Ichibe and uh, Shun Sui are just talking about, wow, this thing's weird. It's just like some weird, bubbly, gross thing. I don't know. I picture the thing from Akita. It's they just they use they use kind of like Lovecraftian words to describe it, and that they don't ever tell you what it actually looks like. Mmm. They're just like it is a thing. Okay, so I guess he's Soul King, so his like spiritual pressure reishi is just like not accounted for i guess it's not accounted for or it's just pieces of him are somewhere uh, he was mentioned as being really important along with aizen aizen yeah. because of just how much how strong Power. his reishi was so do you think uh, yuha aizen... be... go, go ahead go ahead yuha is like a direct kind of son of the soul king in a way so that's probably why they counted him ah uh. Do you think looking backwards, Aizen and Yuwa were aware they were some sort of like a power, a power balance or just that was just how it happened out? I think it might have like, Aizen might have thought about it, but he just, I don't know, it never really came up. I think he was just like, if I do my plan, who cares about the balance? Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense because he would just wipe everything and start over. Did you guys think and it was really weird was when they whatever. were talking about like really powerful people uh, being alive. They didn't mention Koga or Ron Tao. Do you guys think that was really weird that they didn't mention them? Or was that just me? The Bound Boys. You mean those characters that aren't real? Um, the characters that are anime canon and survived at the end? Uh, yeah, All right, damn. Those are the damn, ones. you just got to do what I did. You just will them back into power. I'm just going to pay someone to draw them into one of the manga panels in the background, and then I'm going to start do it. spreading it on the internet. Like, do you guys oh, see this? Man. And then I'll just keep, I'll just keep going. Give me 50 bucks, I'll do it, but you don't get to choose which panel I put them in. That's kind of a dangerous game. I don't know what <laughs> panel. <I'm gonna> <laughs> They're going to be walking around in uh, one of the civilian panels. 
That's fine. I just needed to literally be like in the background. So I just like, they'll, oh, did you guys notice? They're right there. They'll they'll be in the panels of characters getting dunked on. <laughs> no. Okay, well, just as long slaughtering. as they're still alive, then it, it's fine. It's fine. It's While you're at it, why don't you why don't you just ask for a Karya to be made back? Okay, well, he was showed to have died. Okay, and he did not do anything wrong as a human. All right, so. Not hey Sam, hell. don't you want him to be the Hell Warden? Yes, I would love to, but he's not going to go to Hell. He doesn't meet the requirements, so I have to go with the people who are still alive. Didn't he kill lots of people? No, yeah, I thought he did no, kill a lot of people. No, 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 no. That's to, to, to survive, he had to kill people. Yeah, but that was like, I, if you have, like, if I if I had to eat somebody, okay, here's a question. I get Dharma partied, okay? So I, I got to fucking <laughs> eat all the people on the mountain. Do I go to hell because I had to eat somebody to survive? Uh, first off, it's Donner party. Okay, Donner party, thank you. Second off, you he could have, you know, taken a nibble and left them alive. Instead, he was like, ah, oh, they all got to go. Okay, well, you don't know when you're going to find your next meal, Pythes. You just take a one bite of everything you eat and just leave it? When you're... When Wait, you're so, in a really big city. So their thing was, uh, they absorbed uh, Reishi, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, plants are, are like living creatures, right? They have Reishi. reishi. True. Well, yeah, that's why, that's why when they went to the Soul Society, they were really strong, because they could absorb all the Reishi from the buildings. Mm -hmm. He could. They could have walked up to a real big tree and just they, sucked see? it dry and been yep. good for, like, months. Okay, well, why didn't the Quincy's do that, okay? Why are we, why are we going after the bounce for that? Because the Quincy's <laughs> don't need it to survive, Sam. Okay, well, they, they need it, so that that's their nutrients. They have to have that, okay? So it's like, and they you know, couldn't take it from a tree? Okay, well, why aren't you vegan, okay? Because I mean, they I would be vegan at that point. <laughs> because I like to know that the thing I eat had a mother. Okay, you're going to hell. Sorry. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's done. You're out. I'm sorry. Enjoy Go seeing fucking Xylocaro so down there, fucking loser. So I can hang out with Uno, Hana, and, uh, and, uh, Dude, I bet, I bet she looks fire down there. Dude, I bet she looks fire. It's hot down there. She's like, mmm. Like, like half of her face is a skull. I'm glad that oh. they actually specifically mentioned that she would be down there because we don't know what she does, right? Like, do we have any idea what her power actually was? I still, I don't think we really know what her uh, Zanpakuto did. Blood is involved. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. Bet there's a lot of blood in hell. Bet there's a lot. So I thought this up when I was thinking of uh, all the people in hell. People have been screaming for years, hey, I want to know more about the original Gote 13. Ooh. All the captains, that fought, the captains that fought the Quincy's in the first Blood War. Okay, The, now, the, me, the but, band of murderers. Now, that sounds cool and all. That sounds really cool. But Genrei, all right? Genrei. Gen oh, we're bringing Genrei into this? Mm -hmm. We're going to get Genrei versus Byakuya. That'd Ooh. be pretty cool. I, I okay, so obviously that makes a lot of sense as a fight, and that seems like a very Biakia thing to do. But I'm kind of over the uh, Biakia going after another Biakia, like Kuchiki versus Kuchiki. I'm kind of over that storyline. Well, what? It, who says the Kuchiki has to be Biakia? What if it's uh, Yinrei Rukia. versus Rukia? I'm not really excited about that either. I might be completely honest. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what they you do don't. with Genrei. I was just memeing with the Genrei throughout. I just don't know what they do with Genrei. Hey, do you guys think that uh, Renji calls Byaki a brother now? No, he calls him daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you, guys got, you guys got to read that wedding chapter. It's really fun. Oh, uh, I I want to. Sam, you it's in Ca Camp Fury Your Own World? Uh, no, but they have just a transcription of what happens on the website, the wiki. Uh, gotcha. it's called, it's, I think it's called... Uh, we do not always love you, spelled K N O T. Uh, like tying the knot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Biaki's like, hey, I'll pay for everything. Let's go. Ah, no. Because he goes, I went through some shit when I married my wife as a commoner. Now Rookie's got to marry Renji. Nah, I'm just take care of all the paperwork. <laughs> ah, that's a good big brother. That's good. That's really nice. Okay, anything else? Do you have anything else you want to talk about? I'm scanning my list. I think I'm good. Okay, cool. All right, so that was the uh, special Bleach Chapter 20th anniversary, which is uh, we're, we're eating good. Thousand Year Blood War should be coming back eventually. Who knows? Hey, oh. I called Bleach was going to come back, Sam. Dude, it, I mean, it just – we're ah, Burn the Witch is going to keep continuing. 
Bleach is going to come I'm back excited. both in anime and manga form. We're going to be having Bleach content for days. So, uh, you know, are we going to be Witch Boys too, or just uh, ble- uh, Bleach Boys like <laughs> That's a good as, as an umbrella? That's a good question. Yeah, well, I mean, it's in the Bleach universe, so it kind of okay, it, well, it makes sense. Until there's new waifu added, uh, I'm totally Team Noel. Of, she's all right. Out of just burn the witch characters, you're, you're yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. But that's just you know current. You know, I, I don't know what you else. Made some right to hand turn, and you just said Noel is your favorite girl out of all the bleach stuff. I'm no, like, no, no. It's still, it's like, still Nemu. It's still Nemu. Okay, I respect that. I respect that pick. Do you, do you think due to her weird strength that like original Nemu is in hell and she's gonna meet new Nemu? Oh, what if she's super hot down there? Because she's in hell. Yeah, she would be hot. Yeah, she on fire. Yeah, I just hope we get more Kukaku, <laughs> you know. I just feel like that's all we need. Oh, wh- oh. what about Kayan? He's the only lieutenant. Never mind. You already fucked that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. No. <sighs> and Xyloparo ate part but of him, right, or something? Kayan could be kind of down there with Adinetto. Okay? There we go. Oh, oh, yeah, oh that, yeah, 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 with Adinetto. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't want that to be a fight. I want that to be one panel where it is just Kayan's ghost, like, sucker punching Aronero for all eternity for eating him. I just was it you, Pythes, who said I don't know if it was you. It was like it would. I somebody recommended the idea of like, hey, how cool would it have been if like Kukaku and Ganju showed up to fight Adinyeto, like to help Adinyeto? Because he. I would have been so sick. He's like taking the identity of Kayan. I was like, it so, was. It wasn't me. Someone mentioned that, and that has forever been in my head of like, that would have been really cool. <laughs> that would have been really dope. <laughs> it's like that because they those characters disappear. They don't. Where do they go? Anything to make Aro Nero slightly interesting. Yeah, like that would have been at least somewhat interesting, but it's like, you know, because like Biagi oh. got a back to back fight. Like he could have he given yeah. one off. Do they talk about Kukaku and, uh, uh, what's his, his brother's name? Kayan? Ganju. Ganju, Ganju. At, at all in the novels? Uh, they go to Kukaku's house. Oh, okay. And it's everybody. Let's go. It's a I bunch of like. Too. It's a bunch of captains, a wrong car, Quincy's, and Fullbrings just hanging out at, at Kukaku's house. Wait, so are the Aronkars just cool, just, like, doing their own thing now? Like, they're not persecuted or anything? Uh, uh they have uh, a shaky alliance where they're like, don't fuck with us, we won't fuck with you. Gotcha. And, and, and Nell still visits Ichigo kind of thing, I'm assuming? I don't know that. She uh, she mostly just helped Halibel run uh, Wakamundo. And Grimjowl is just there. That's my boy. They're okay. dealing with Quincy problems. What? They have Quincy problems there too? Yeah, because the, the Stern Ritter that survived the Blood War, just they retreated back to Wakamundo because they had a bunch of bases there. Mm-hmm. And so they've just been having skirmishes left and right. Ah. Trying to take back good old Wakamundo. Yeah, it's not going well. Now, stay with me. That'd be a great Bleach game, like a Far Cry style game. Yeah, you know, they have all the camps all over the map, but in Weko Mundo. Okay. There you got to go. clear I mean, out the Quincy camps. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. I mean, if you're just Grimjo, you just run in there and attack everybody. Well, clearly not that easy if well, they can't no, do it, eh? well, the, the, the Quincy aren't losing that bad because Grimjo won't show up to help because he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, My boy. <laughs> you remember uh, Rudabon? Yeah. The guy with the stag horns. Yeah. Uh, that guy's like, Grimjaw shows up and goes, man, if these queens were here, you should ask for my help. This will be a good fight. And he goes, I did a whole lot. And you said no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. He had to fun. make deal with uh, Loli and Minoli. Oh, he, he, t- he took Loli? He took both of them. Oh, that's because, funny. Because they were loyal to Aizen. Ah. Uh... And they, they dunk on him all the time, and it never works. That's cool. They go, oh, you're, you're, you're just, just as boring as that stick in the mud, Zomari. And he goes, ah, oh, what an honor to be compared to such a loyal man as he. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, fuck, let's let's call it. God, dude, that was. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I'm so happy yeah, it's I, back. It does. It does worth me saying that it does ancient is like um, how from the jaws of hell arc is what it ends on. So I, mm-hmm. I assume we're getting a whole fucking thing. It should be. One yeah. It has Last the question text says. And the story unfolds. Last question, last question. Let's say Bleach is coming back, right? The, the manga's come back. Is it going to come back as a monthly, or is it going to come back as a weekly? I feel like it'll be a, a monthly. Probably monthly, and I think it'll be like uh, Burn the Witch, where it's going to be like a bunch of chapters all at once and then nothing for a while. 
I'm kind of down with that. I got to be honest. Yeah, I'm okay I, with that. I think the Burn the Witch Gap right now has been a little long. I'm going to assume that's probably pandemic related, but... Pandemic I, and also new chapter related. Yeah, I'm kind of down with just like drop, you know, like a whole little mini arc and then be like, all right, I'm going to, we'll be back when I got the next little bit. I'm kind of down with that. Like take, yeah, like I, don't I like burn it. yourself take out. Take your time. Yeah. I don't, don't want another thousand years. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Because okay. his drawing was great in this. It was very good. Return to form for Tite Kubo. Huge, huge congrats. All right. Well, let's call it. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, if you have any uh, speculation, of course, let us know in the comments down below. And you can join our Discord to talk about more about Bleach there. I know there's all kinds of spoiler shit talking. I still haven't read in Discord. So I got to do that. <laughs> and um, then, of course, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with anything like that because we will be covering anything Bleach as it comes out. Of course, we have the Bleach Boys podcast you could check out, which we're still rewatching all of Bleach. And we're in the middle of the fucking Ray Guy uh, right now, which is just been puke vomit. So... Check that out, and we will be back uh, whenever the next chapter comes out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. And please comment and tell me how wrong I was about all the lore. <laughs>